In this video, I'm going to use the new Unity 4.6 beta uh, UI system to make a dynamic list of, of items. And it's going to half use my own code to position and also use the new UI system to stretch and fill these things. It kind of uses both. And this is going to work on any size screen. So if I play again, um, the new system is going to fill that properly and you know any size as well. Still going to work. So the code here is crew panel inventory panel that that just randomly fills in um, these objects here. So here's a crew panel, and it's just going to find these this text in the picture and change it. So that's not really that impressive. It's just that it's going to take this game object and use it to fill this object. Uh, and that's what this does, scrollable list. That's really what's happening here, and we'll look at the code for that. So I'm going to attach this to the video description. Um, instead of typing it, I'm just going to explain it because it's a little long, and I don't know if I could quite do it right uh, the first shot in a video. So uh, you need UnityEngine.UI up here. So item prefab is going to be the item we want to make lots of. So those squares with the item and the item label. Uh, this is how many we want, and this is how many columns there are. So one or the other, the items, there was four columns. So we're going to get the, the new rec transform from the new GUI system. We're going to get it here. We're also going to get the container rec transform because we need information from both of these. Here we're going to do some calculations on our scrollable list. So for the width of each item, Say we have two columns, like that, two items. Then the width is going to be the width of the container divided by two. So divided by two or divided by column count. This ratio, I want to keep the aspect ratio of the box. So one thing my system's going to do, it's never going to stretch this this way it'll all, or that way. It'll always lock it to have the same aspect ratio. Here we get the height using that ratio. Here we get the number of rows. Here we calculate the total scroll height because we're going to need to adjust that. Um, it, this, this scroll height, it might be very long, it might be short, it really just depends on how many items we need to fill. And now we've got the first part where we use the new UI system. We're going to set the offset min and the offset max. Offset min is the lower left corner's distance from the lower left anchor. And offset max is the top right corner's distance from the top right anchor. So I'm just going to use the same, same x coordinate, but the height is going to be half our height. Because zero is the center point and negative goes down, so we're going to do negative half and half. Now we're going to do a loop for the number of items we have. I do it like this because if I did a double for loop, then we might have extra items. Like if there's an odd number of items on the last row, we, don't, we want to just stop. So I just did that. So here I'm going to create a new item. An item in this case is like this, this whole package. So we're going to make, make it from that prefab. We're going to name it just our coordinates in the table and we're going to set the parent to ourself where this scrollable list is that's going to be the container for all of them now we need to move that that new new item we're going to use its rect transform here a lot so this part's just a little bit of you know wacky math but for the to get the x coordinate say this is our box and we've got two well this center point is zero zero so if x x is 0 right here, so we need to subtract half of the width again. So we're going to start here, and we're going to add that amount if we need to. So, so if we have four columns, we're going to start here. We might add this width, or we'll add that width times 2, or add that width times 3. So that's what we're doing here. And the, the modulo is so that when we go to a new row, it will, you know, it won't, when we come down to this row, it's not going to 
keep adding farther out. It's going to modulo. It's going to come back to zero. The y is a little simpler. It's just, again, that, uh, that height over 2. And then each time, we're going to minus the height times j. And j was up here. It's kind of our double loop. And then we're also going to change the offset max. And it's a little simpler. It's just going to be the offset min plus our width. Offset min plus our height. So really what this lets us do is if we have uh, our canvas with the new UI system, actually we'll just, we'll make a new one. So right click UI, um, and again this is Unity 4.6 beta. Uh, 4.6 should be coming out eventually. I kind of uh, jumped ahead and got it early. So you can make a canvas and then right click the canvas. I'm going to make a panel and you can move these blue guys. So say we have this panel and I want to fill it with something. Um, I'm going to make another panel on canvas. And just I'll just fill this with something interesting. So say this is the item here that I want to make lots of. Um, it's really just a panel. I filled it with a bunch of crap. Um, a couple things. First, in this system I made, um, you gotta. it's never going to scale it like this. It is going to scale it uh, the aspect ratio. Now, it's not scaling really correctly here. Um, so what you need to do is you need to have a look at each one and the anchors um, I find this works well, but it really anything, once you put them here, you can then go 0, 0, 0. So each corner will be distance 0 from those corners. Um, and now when you scale, it's a little better. So you got to make sure that, you know, if you, it may, if you make it really tiny, it's going to go wacky. So if I make 10 columns, maybe you need to redesign your thing. Uh, but it should it should really be able to go really big if someone's got a huge resolution So once we have this item here, oh The anchors of this panel the container here this whole thing Its anchors cannot be on the edges. They have to be right in the center uh, Because when my code moves it The rect transform is going to get confused and stretch it differently because it thinks it's doing it with reference to the anchor. It's, it's, it's wacky, but it must be in the center. From there, you take the container, add the scrollable list, and you need to give it the item prefab here. You also need to set the anchors for this scrollable container, the container here. Its anchors can't be the whole canvas too. They have to also be in the center. So that's when I'm changing this height it won't change the height appropriately if it thinks it's doing it according to a weirdo anchor. It has to be, they have to both be centered. So now when I press play and pause and zoom out, so now it's stretched the height and it's made this scrollable thing that's filled it all with that. And you know, you can access any of these as game objects, which is what's great about the new UI system. They're not uh, on, on GUI calls anymore. They're actual game objects you can interact with with components and all that. And now really the idea is, uh, you know, you can do anything with that, but if you want to use this within the new UI systems uh, scroll box, it's just a case of, of making that the regular way and it works with it. So right click UI, make another panel. This is going to be our box that'll contain it. We're going to put the scrollable inside of that. You also, you don't need to match the height, but you do need to match the width. Otherwise, it'll look wacky. And then just with the usual way, uh, the, the panel, the container here, add the scroll rect to it. You have to give it content. It's just going to be this scrollable here. And of course, this is how you'd make a scroll bar this interests you. I'll just put it over here. And bottom to top. And you click this guy and make it 
scroll bar, give it vertical scroll bar. And now it'll work. Oh, there's no mask. Yes. If you want a mask, you can take the con container panel. You just add mask. It's going to use this picture, which is just going to be itself. And now it'll only show in that picture, in that mask. So that's what I've got working with code so far in the uh, 4.6 UI system.